Hi, my name is Kelly. I'm part of the investments team at SG Innovate. Today, I'll be sharing a little bit more about our Singapore early stage emerging tech startup report that we recently launched. Deep tech startups in Singapore are in a constant state of flux. So how are our early stage emerging tech startups performing when it comes to funding? Where is the tech being most frequently spun out of? Here are three observations of how Singapore's early stage emerging tech startups have been performing. Observation 1. There's been an overall increase in the number of seed stage deals. There is a one and a half times increase in the number of seed stage deals compared to 2022, likely be because VCs are seeking earlier stage opportunities given the depressed valuation at the later stages. We see this as a positive sign for encouraging more startups to be incorporated in the foreseeable future. Observation 2. Innovation is mostly being spun out of universities and venture studios. It is encouraging to witness the commercialization of IP from the IHLs and Venture Studios. The achievement showcases the effective translation of academic research into real-world applications, further cementing the role that the IHLs and Venture Studios play in the origination of early-stage emerging tech startups. The Health and Biomed Vertical had the highest number of spin-off with S21%. The reason behind that could be attributed to the nature of a Health and Biomed solutions that are in market that requires a lot of regulatory requirements. So this R&D is primarily done in institutions with access to a range of lab equipments as well as grant funding. Observation 3. There's more than meets the eye in Singapore's deep tech ecosystem. Looking retrospectively, we observed that it takes up to three years for us to uncover majority of the startups being incorporated in any particular year. So the prolonged discovery periods can be attributed to many factors, so that includes founder preference to increase their visibility after raising their first institutional round or after they have completed developing their MVP. 